Hello everyone and welcome back to the next episode in our lovely zoo, Volcano Falls. I'm the Dandroid, taking you on a little tour of the zoo so far. Um, starting to look pretty good, I think, I don't know, you be the judge. Needs a lot more landscaping out here, but it's coming together. Still uh, focusing on that main part for now. Let me uh, unpause it here. Yeah. Yeah, uh, today we're going to be working on a, a uh, well, not really a new habitat, but redoing an older habitat to make it look, uh, make it a little bigger, make it look a little bit nicer. Here's a, here's what we did last episode. Primarily, we uh, did this little uh, snack bar area here. I went back through and landscaped it a little better. Added a little pond area over here, so uh, people can throw throw crap into it, probably, knowing these people. Come around the corner here, and... Yep, this is what we're working on today. We're going to get rid of the camels. They've served us well, and they might they may make a reappearance at some point in the future, but for right now, they're going to go. So, going to be a lot of uh, time-lapsing today. There might be more than one time lapse, I'm not sure. But, uh. Just a little tour of the zoo so far. Yep. There's our llamas. Oh. I thought he was swimming, but he's just walking. Oh, there he goes. Now he's swimming. Possibly she. Yep, it's a girl. Okay, so she's swimming across the across the pond there. Oh, that one's running around. So, all right, well, I'm gonna get to it here in just a second. Time lapse, and I'll get back with you when the time lapse is done. I hope you enjoy. If you do, uh, hit that like button. Feel free to subscribe. Leave a comment. Anybody who leaves a comment will get an animal named after them. I get to pick the animal, though, so you might be a really pathetic... You might be a tree frog. I don't know. You'll be something. So leave a comment, you get an animal. All right, here we go.
Alrighty then, so I hope you enjoyed that little time lapse. That's that's the uh, you know just the basic construction of the thing. Um, yeah, it took a long time. It took it took longer than I was expecting. It was mostly this damn tunnel that uh, that that just kicked my butt. I I kind of want I wanted it to. Oop, oh God. Oh whatever. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Yeah, I wanted it to be kind of like a natural cavey looking thing. And then I got it like halfway through and I wasn't sure like what how good it was going to look like what while you're down here. You know, is it gonna are you gonna be able to see the otters swimming around? I did go with otters. I, I was I was planning on doing um caimans, but I thought the otters with the depth that they swim deeper. I don't think the Caymans do swim down deep, and I kind of wanted this tunnel in that area. And this thing's definitely not done. I mean, it looks like crap, but uh, it's it's a work in progress, as is everything, it seems. But here's the here's the overall exhibit here. <clears throat> I'm just gonna go through now that I got a an otter delivered. I'm gonna go through and. Put down some of the enrichment items and, and foliage, and I'm going to build a shelter here in a bit, I believe. So let's find out what they like for enrichment. Sprinklers. The underwater feeding things, and all the balls and boxes, it seems. All right. Let's go and find that habitat. Now, right, it's all given one of these balls here. Over here, I think. I think they like this ball too. The underwater feeder boxes. Whoa. I think I changed my sensitivity on the mouse the other day. The thing is lying around. I'm going to try to... Yeah, I'm going to put this feeder box over here by this window. Maybe give the people a good view from inside. I'm assuming they'll come down and actually feed. Where's the other one? Let's go. Yeah, right here. Then maybe another one over here. Give them plenty of that. Uh, what else we got? Sprinklers. I really like that. Everything seems to like the sprinklers. Who doesn't like playing around in a sprinkler? Hmm. Go out here, I guess. Yeah, that'll work. Alright. Uh, what else did they like? Oh, a mud bath? I think they liked that. Where would we put that? Let's put that over here. Over here, I guess. Okay, now we got to get them some food. I think they like a uh, block of frozen fish. Okay. All right. Uh, where's the food troughs at? I think they eat fish, so I'm thinking this one. I'll put that out here so the people right here can see them eating. Okay, plants. Otters. Where are you guys from, otters? Tropical grassland and aquatic plants. Oops, wrong button. Filter by biome. Oh, tropical, aquatic, grassland. Okay. So possibly stuff in here they might actually like. Highlight them. See if they... I'm not going to go 100% by just what they like. But if I can accommodate them, I will. Let me see. We can align this to, to the water surface, I think. Yeah, aligned to water. There we go. Do they like those? They do like those. All right, let's put a few of them out there. I always think those look nice. Put 
put a few little solo guys to break up the the pattern a bit I always hate that they even if you rotate them you can kind of still see the pattern do a let's do a couple a little tour here all right little tour a work let me see I always like these too well it's so much easier now that they changed it to uh align to surface you don't have to you don't have to mess around with um trying to get get them just right add a little lily pad area over there I think they come in they come in pink too don't they or is it just the purple can't recall I know they don't like this but it'll be okay we'll give them plenty of stuff they do like mm, I feel like you always need like little cattails they hate those too but whatever screw you screw you otters you ain't the boss of me maybe this whole area here will be kind of a, a cattail area Oops, put that guy on top of the other one. That looks stupid. Let's undo that. I said undo that. There we go. Alright, so we got a little cattails over there. Tropical. What are, what are they like? These guys, maybe? Yeah, they seem to be okay with those. Let's put a couple of those over here. They come in different sizes, so let's mix it up. Look, look like they had babies. Not that plants have babies, but you know what I mean. Look like they're in different stages of, of growth. Like they're spreading outward. Well, they don't hate that, but I do. So, alright. What else? What else we got here? I think I'll add in some of these little grassy clumps. Of course they hate those too. They're hating like everything I put in here. Ugh, I don't know why. I don't know why you can't just put what you want. I, I get it. I get it. They're trying for realism. I get what they're doing here. But it is kind of annoying sometimes when you're trying not to anger the animals. Alright. Put some of those. Do I want... I want this to be more like trop, like lush and tropical. Kind of the blend in with the background trees, I think. Maybe we could put some rocks down. I think this area over here is where I'm going to do the hard shelter. I haven't decided what it's going to look like. I'm probably going to do a time lapse because I kind of want them to be able to go right out of the water and like into a shelter. And I like how this area here is kind of sunken down. But I think that's where I'm headed. And I might leave little peepholes in the back so people can watch them sleeping in there. I think that's my game plan. Uh, there might be another time lapse in this video. Add a few of these. I always like these Drin grasses. I feel like they give more depth to the grasses. Add them into the hot, the longer grass areas. I feel like that. Because you only got, what, short grass and, and tall grass. And I feel like this is kind of like an intermediary step. You know, a little taller than tall. But still kind of gives it that mottled look that makes it, it breaks up just the, the grasses a little bit. I feel like, I, I don't know, I just like the way that looks, I guess. Alright, they don't hate that. That's good.
I feel like this area here is really naked. Oops, that last guy's floating in midair. Let's not do that. <laughs> planting trees all day long. Planting trees while I sing my song. Hmm, what else? A fever tree. That's kind of a cool looking tree. Wonder if they hate that. Give them a little shade while they're... I guess they don't really need shade. If they're getting hot, they can probably just go swimming, but... They hate the fever tree. Well, alright then. You bastards. What do you like? You like any color? Can we sneak in like a little clump of flowers or two? No, they don't care for those either. They're very picky, it seems. I don't want bamboo. I feel like that's... I always think of bamboo as more of like an Asian thing, so I think... Uh, try to keep it more tropical. God, they hate everything. I swear to God, they don't want any foliage in this thing. That's a dumb-looking little tree. Oh, God, that one looks creepy, too. Do they like it? No, of course they don't like it. Why would they like any trees? Well, they don't seem to hate these things, so let's mix a few of them in there. Gonna sneak them in underneath here. Okay, alright, alright, it's coming together. I always like to get a little bit of color in. How about these? Oh god, that's a big old one there. Maybe a single. How about these guys? Nope, hate those two. Okay, alright. I'm learning that, that the, uh, the giant otters are annoying when it comes to plant, planting plants in their habitat. Alright. I do have to get, like, a couple trees in here or something, though. I don't care what they say. They they might have to just suck it on... on, uh... not having a tree. Nope, they hated that, too. Of course they did. Why wouldn't they? Come on, there's gotta be... Gotta be some kind of tree they like. Nope, not that one. Nope, not that one. We're uh, we're slowly whittling away the uh, the amount of t the possibilities on trees that we can have. Hmm, what's this thing? No, they don't like the eucalyptus. They're not koalas. Maybe they like a stupid bunny topiary. What? Oh, oh, I forgot to delete the other tree they hate. I don't think they're gonna like the the silly bunny. Oh, I gotta go down and like do some of the plants under the water too at some point. Oh, that's gonna that's gonna be a pain in the butt. Doing some underwater terraforming. Golly, they hate everything. They hate everything. Well, we have enough plants technically. I'm going to put some trees in here. I just don't care what they. They're not the boss of me. They're. I, I'm running this this world. Ah, uh, let's see what kind of I liked. I liked a couple of them up here. I forget what they were though. And I'm gonna put some damn palm trees in here. I don't care what they think. Put a couple of big tall guys in. Maybe a couple shorter guys. I like this little two-for-one action here, if you know what I mean. Rotate him around a little bit. Yeah, that, there we go. Little oasis over there. I want something out here, though. Maybe a little tour out here. Yeah, that looks good. 
and then give him a friend over. Oh, let's go. There's other friends. He's got other friends here. What's this thing? Yeah, maybe one of these guys. That's that's a little different. Yeah, let him over here. We're going to assume that these aren't actually like poisonous to the animals. Let's just pretend we we check that and that they they don't like them, but it's you know it's not going to kill them or anything. I was, I was just uh, reading Jurassic Park the other and there there's the part where the stegosaur is coming down sick or whatever and it's because they're eating the the berries from the plants because the uh, the Jurassic Park people never bothered to check and make sure the 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 animals didn't eat the poisonous plants so let's not be Jurassic Park zookeepers I guess We don't want to accidentally kill our stegosaur slash giant otter. All right, so this is tropicaling up a little bit here. When you walk in, you got the little glass area, and I want to make like a like a sign, like a big arcing sign here that says like Volcano Falls. So as you're walking through, that's what you're that's what you're greeted with is like a big overarching Volcano Falls right in front of the volcano. That's that's on the hit list. Of things to do I think I might do a do an episode that's just signage because I feel like I've got a lot of like missing signage on bathrooms and uh, and other areas so I think that might be one episode is just making custom signs for for the zoo because I feel like if you're actually at a zoo you're definitely gonna have a lot of uh, a lot of signage around saying you know Turtles over here, like you know, every habitat or whatever has a has a sign or a name or something. So okay, yeah, this is our habitat here. Um, yeah, I think this is what we got for right now. We'll have to go back through. I'll come back. I'm gonna do this. Uh, I'm gonna do this. Um, the time lapse over here for the for the otter hard shelter area, and I'll meet you on the other end of the time lapse.
Okay, we're back. Uh, here's what I came up with. A little, like, a lean-to structure made out of mostly wood and bamboo. I feel like that goes well with our, you know, South American jungly theme. I like the natural materials. I always think the wood looks good anyway, to be honest. Um, yeah, it's coming together. Let's see what the, what the otters think about things. I'll pause it for just a second so they can update. All right, hard shelter is fine. Terrain, why are, why, what are they complaining about? Everything's perfect over here. What are they complaining about terrain wise? Oh, okay, it needs some rock and sand. I can, I see that, okay. Oop, it needs less rock. It needs more sand. All right, so let's go. Uh, do we have to drain? I think we have to drain the water for this, hold on. Oh, now the dam. Oh, okay. I guess we can do it with the otter in the water. I got conf I got uh, concerned. I didn't think we were going to be able to do it with the water with the otter in there. All right, let's let's paint some sand here. Ooh, I got a big circle here. Hold on. Whew. There we go. I feel like Ford <clears throat> Ford does a good job, I think. So I feel like all these shallow areas probably sand. That should get rid of a fair bit of the rock, I would think. Maybe this ledge over here. Sand. Over here, too, maybe lighten it up a little bit. Alright, where's that otter at? Let's see what they think of that. Too much sand now. Alright, well. Less rock. More grass. Hmm, how am I going to pull this off with this... Uh, Very angry with the amount of rock, it seems. Okay. Need more grass. So I think that part that we just painted over here, probably gonna have to go back to grass. I can work some long grass along the edge here. I feel like this wouldn't be sand anyway. This would probably be... be grass. But we get these ratios just right. Because now I'm going to have to go back on the other side here probably because, yeah, we got grass poking through the walkway now. I always hate that. Oh, wow. I just realized we have a uh, missing segment of fencing over here. Probably have to do something about that. Have the otters on the prowl. Yeah, this makes sense that this would be long grass anyway. It'd be hard to maintain. Like a manicured... <clears throat> grass over here anyway. I don't know what's going on with my voice today. Apparently I'm suffering from second puberty. Don't know what that's about. It's a little late in the game for another puberty. Hey, maybe I'll get that second growth spurt I never got the first time. That'd be delightful. Okay, well it still says it hates the amount of rock. Looks like we can do some more sand, so let's go down. Let's give it a sandy bottom down here. Maybe that'll help with the amount of rock. A lot of rock. I think it's counting the rock inside of the cave area over there. So there might not be anything I can do about some of some of the rock. I feel like I uh, hate painting all this sandy. I guess you can't really tell that it's not, you know, because I mean that well, you wouldn't have a big giant sand pillar there. 
I think that's close enough as far as the habitat goes. They, you know, they they don't have to have every single thing they want in the world. All of our percentages are really good over here. Let's put some water back in here if we can. I'm not sure if... Yeah, there we go. Got our little swimming otter there. All right. Coming along, it's coming along, it's coming along. I'm liking it. I feel like a... Oh, yep, yep. The big gaping hole in the fence, perhaps. Let's try to do something about that, maybe. Good enough. Let's get a... Oops. I think I just put two of them down. I did. All right. Let's get out of here. Duplicate the rail a little bit. I probably should have grabbed a bigger a bigger section of it, but what are you gonna do? Feel like it's okay to have things a little bit um, more rustic. I haven't been to South America, but I imagine you know they're not always a hundred percent up to code on every little thing. That would be my guess. If you got a little bit of a rail issue. I feel like it actually, you know, gives it a little bit more character if there's a board that's missing or something. I don't know. Does that make any sense? Or am I just being a lazy zoo designer? Oops. I have a, I have a missing thing over here, too. I have to, go, have to go back and double check some of this construction stuff. It's having a little issue with the fencing. I don't know if you could tell. Wasn't exactly the sexiest fencing I've ever done in my life. I don't know. Sometimes it's like your hands just don't work or whatever. Yeah, it's like little things like that. I feel like a board that doesn't line up quite right, you know, that's fine. I think it kind of like gives it more character. Like, oh, this is a little bit more, more of a rustic look. All right. All right. I think we're coming along here pretty well. Can I sink this thing into the ground? I think I can. I always, man, I hate the can't. Ah, oh, that's that's unfortunate. Maybe I can't. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder if that still counts. I think it does. I wish that border wasn't in there. It's the border that kind of, I think, looks stupid. Come on now. No. Yeah, it doesn't want to do it. Oh, well, it'll be fine. Yeah, I like this little area over here. I feel like they'll go down there and sleep. And when you come in, I'm in the backside here and you can kind of see them. See them down there messing around. I like that. All right, let's get some something going around the, the edges here. This looks this looks bad. Put a few of these down. Put a little bit of decoration around the edges. What else we got here? Go down some of these purple guys. They're kind of poofing night off the off the sides. I think that'll look fine. I do like a, a little splash of color if I can get it in get it worked into a habitat. Like they're just kind of growing on the on the lip up there. Hmm. What do I want to do here? 
Might have to move that fencing to that null barrier. It does kind of look like it's poking through the fence every now. I don't know if the I don't really know if the uh, the otters can actually get into that area. So it might not be that. It might not have to have any work done to it. All right, let's grab some of these bigger guys here. Yeah, yeah, I like the uh, the elevation change there. Hmm. This lip here is a little on the small side. A couple over there. Maybe, yeah. yeah, give them a little more privacy there, I guess. And then maybe one, some of these elephant plants. Give a little elevation to that area. Oops, that's on top. Of, oops, I messed up. Ignore that. Not much of a not much of a spot over here for anything. Yeah, I think that'll have to do for the most part. I think that looks better. I like that a lot better than the camel habitat. What's that guy looking at? Apparently he's trying to burn his retinas out by staring at the sun like a moron. Okay, well, whatever, whatever makes you happy, man. That's your, uh, that's your business. Uh, I do feel like I, I, you yeah, know, I do need to put, put a, uh, put a, put some signage up here. I think. Oh, where do I? Let's go. There over to here, I think. So, let's see how that lines up. Uh, this one's got to come over just a little further. Let's... Well, oh, no, I don't want to edit. Uh, we're probably right about there. Let's just see what that looks like. I'm up that guy's butt, but oh yeah, that, that looks right there. All right, so if I can get these, you know what I think I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do one more time lapse. Bear with me. I know this is you know time lapsey as hell, but. I don't think you want to watch me sit here for 20 minutes messing around with stupid boards. So, all right, uh, one more time lapse and I'll be back in just a moment.
All right, welcome back again for the 40th time in this video. I don't know, I seem to be doing nothing with fast forwarding. So yeah, I think this is this is my uh, the main sign as you come in. I think it looks pretty good. Got to move move this fence over a little bit and adjust some things, I think, but and maybe duplicate it and put it around on the backside too. I I'll fiddle around with it a little a little uh, a little bit more off camera. I think I've I think I've annoyed you folks enough for, for one episode. But yeah, there it is. Volcano Falls. Right in front of the volcano. It's all coming together looking pretty good right now. We get the animals in here. Got a bunch more otters here I was going to put in. Get them in the habitat. Did I, wait, did I... Yeah, I did fix that fence hole over there. I wanted to make sure. Okay, so let's start this up. Get the animals in. Get them in the water. Is he going in the water? No, like, what's he taking a nap? Oh, nope, he's going to take a swim. Oh, he's going down. All right. There's, there's some more otters for us. All right. All the otters are, are happy. Let's take a look at the, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put another sign over here that says, like, Otter Cave or something, so people know what this is, and it's not just, like, a staff area back here. You, you'd need more signage. Let's see what it looks like down below here. Oh, we got some guests already. Nice. Oh, yeah, there we go. Watch the otters swimming around. Hopefully they'll come over here and eat, eat the, uh, the fish that come out of these things. But yeah, I think this will be a popular... Oh, it's already starting to get uh, get a popularity down here. I'll have to put some trash cans. <clears throat> oh, oh, there's that puberty again. I don't know what my problem is today. I probably got the COVID or something. Oop, wait, oh, that's facilities, isn't it? Yeah. I think we were doing this guy here, so let's put a trash can there. Maybe one over here. Maybe one more over here. Okay, that'll do for that. Uh, maybe doing a bench down here too. Maybe the, this seems like a good area for people to to take a seat and watch the otters play around. Maybe not right by the trash can. Who wants to smell nasty trash while they while they're in the zoo? Maybe one more over here. Yeah. I regret that this isn't really handicap accessible, but I do feel like in the real world maybe they'd have like an elevator over here coming down. But we don't have elevators in this game, so you gotta make do. Oh, and already, I you know I golly, three people walk through there and already there's trash on the ground. I just put the, the trash bins down, too. There's this guy. Oh, there they are swimming. I think this is going to be a nice little habitat here. I like this underwater cave idea. And it kind of comes over... Oops, wrong button. I fat-fingered it. And it kind of comes over here and leads them right out to uh, to our little drinky. Our little uh, food stall area. I think what I might do is... is uh, connect this over here too. I do want people to have more access to that area, but I might bring it all the way around. I'm, I'm still still pondering what I want to do. I want to bring it all the way around here or just do like a cut through right here. Probably just a cut through, but whatever. For now, it's good enough. All right. I think I'm going to call it a day here. I will go and pretty this up a little bit while off camera and I'll let you know what I did on, on the next episode. If you liked what you saw today, you know what to do. Subscribe, leave a comment, hit a like. Anybody that leaves a comment gets an animal named after them. Thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate you.